my tractor through your haystack last night. I threw me pitchfork at your dog to keep quiet. Now someone's telling me that you move right in me.
grotty spaces and what he generally does for a living is bite a hole in a carcass where it already has a hole and that's generally not your ears, your nose, your eyes or your mouth, it's generally your bum and then he sticks his head up your bum and vacuum cleans you from the inside out so that incidentally is the reason why he's called Dyson <laughs> off and away he goes People often comment that as they bring him around the edge, this is incidentally is also getting him used to people and hustle and bustle and also getting him used to the fact that we've got dogs and all kinds of other critters. And again, it's all about sort of routine. This particular bird has not really ever done anything seriously wrong at the showground environment. Most of it is all bluff and fluff and they tend to blow themselves up and make themselves look very big and impressive. They open the wings and hiss and sort of uh, put the long necks out and sort of uh, generally posture. But when it comes down to real sort of bullying, he doesn't really go in for that unless you're sort of the same size as him. And they will always back off on it. Because he's 16 years of age, he knows full well that, well, it's a hard day today. And already I'm looking at Sydney and his beak is open. He's saying, look, Dad, I'm absolutely cream cracking. I'm coming in whether you like it or not. OK, I'll drop you in at Sydney and give you a break. Okay, give him a big round of applause, he's done very well there. Eh? Once we've actually brought Sydney down and given him a break, then uh, we tend to sort of get a, a, a lot less work out of him. If it was windy, then he would happily fly around all day long. That's what he's uh, designed to do. Uh, having said that, bald eagles are incredibly lazy. And as you see these shards leaving, and we celebrate 150 years of Southern Fly Matching Show, it's nice to re recall the show evolved over the years from very small beginnings. In fact, shows in general date back to the 18th century. Record shows that early shows put on the skills of local farmers competing with one another. 